looks like we've got him. We bring him on in. The man of the hour. Now to waste Sergon's time with absolute bullshit. Like, that's the reality of the situation. You've come to the wrong show. Nice to see you, too. I'm just letting you know, you've got, like, this respectable career going on. That's not happening here. This Dude, is I not watch your drinkers. channel all the time. I know exactly what you're about. Fantastic. <laughs> because there's nothing going on here. I don't know what we're supposed to talk to Sergon about other than, like, uh, shit sucks. Life sucks. But you're beating Anita Sarkeesian. I'll give you that, man. She may have won Gamergate, but you won it life, and that's what the fuck matters, dude. That, You're going to have that. grandkids. You're going to have great grandkids. <laughs> this bitch is going to have like a litter of cats and like a that, really that marriage, gay looking boyfriend. That marriage thing is just harsh, right? No, it's, like, it's perfect. Oh, come on. I, I feel bad, man. I feel I, bad. Like I, when, I, when I a 40 year old woman has to have a pretend marriage to nobody, you've got to feel bad for him. Every time a 40 year old woman has a pretend marriage, an angel gets its wings. <laughs> what are you talking about, sir? God, it was a blessing. <laughs> I saw that shit and I had a pep in my step. <laughs> I, I was just like, oh no, that's just so bad. It's yeah, I saw so you on bad. Twitter. You're like, this is sad. I'm like, what the fuck happened to sir? God, this is great. I, I, I just. I don't know. I I just can't bring myself to uh, to revel, revel. In it, you know. <laughs> I can. That's what <laughs> makes me the villain. <laughs> she ruined yeah. video games. Fuck her. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, it used to be fun, chat. I don't know how old you guys were, but let me tell you, video games used to be fun. You'd go out at midnight to buy games. You'd make new friends, dude. You'd be playing modern warfare. You you got some new buddies. You're drinking boot. Oh, not anymore. Now you got yeah. whatever the hell's good. LGBTQ Overwatch. Oh. Every time I turn around, somebody gay. Oh, here we go. What a gorgeous. It's so moment. uncomfortable, isn't it? It's, it's great. So uncomfortable. I feel so much better. Yeah. I look at this whenever I feel down. It just picks me right back up. Oh, good day, sad. sunshine. So Let's click click through it, man. Do we are we on her Instagram? Pass. No, this not this is not her Instagram. I just found. We we got to get to the Instagram. I need to see the rest of these Hold photos. On, I'll, for I'll, I'll grab her Instagram. Hold on. I love it. I love to see it. So how you doing, huh? I mean, I'm doing pretty great. <laughs> Thanks for asking. I appreciate it. I can tell <laughs> from the smiles on your face with your kids. I'm like, Sergon's having a great time, and then I look at Anita. Yeah, 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 yeah. Doesn't no, her they're, husband? They're all, they're all great, man. I mean, doesn't her boyfriend look like a sex offender? She's a boyfriend, is she? Yeah, he was at the wedding. Bro, how'd you miss that? Are you serious? I'm dead I ass. thought that was just some sort of gay friend or something. No, so, that's so... the that's a boyfriend, dude. Oh. Pull it up, Pasky. He's got to see this. I don't know how. Like, you didn't dig. That's your problem. You, like, looked. No, you had a moment no, of humanity. I picture going around. Me, I went through everything. Like, uh, I, oh, I studied those so photos like weirder. the Dead Sea Scrolls. That's it's so even better. Much weirder. Then you see how ugly the women are too. Oh man, it was a free <laughs> I, show. I did, I did see that, you know. Um, but, but that isn't that just the weirdest fucking thing, right? I, it's my fortieth birthday. What do you do? I'm gonna have a wedding theme birthday with my oh, boyfriend. This is from America. There. This and is America. This happens all the that time. We're getting married. It's very normal. That's that's, that's really. Bad. It's a dystopian <laughs> nightmare. Where have you been? <laughs> there we go. Look at this fun. Oh, uh, that's like the sure. chick who also works in the show, right? But where's the boyfriend? Where's we're the gonna get to that cardboard on. Look at that's shoes. cardboard. No, that's a. That's a. I hate the shoes. I hate the shoes. They they offend me. God, that is so weird. He's here somewhere. He's in red. He, there he is. Well, that go back. Is... Wait, yeah, I saw him right, right in the center. That's him. He looks like a Looking gay artist. Better, just like but that. Why? Why doesn't he actually marry her? Why would he? Well, I mean, why question. would he date her? But like, if he's dating her, he must be into her, and she well, obviously wants to get married. So, well, there's a way out. I can already picture how this went down. I can, I can see it now. So she probably got up. She knew her 40th was coming, and she goes, "Honey, um, I think I'm gonna make my 40th birthday a wedding because you're never gonna propose to me, huh?" <laughs> and then he sits there and he's like. <laughs> oh, you're so funny, Anita. I think that would be great. It's a way out for him, and it's for her to like hint to him that she wants to get married, even oh, though yeah. it's not going to happen. Yeah. But that, oh, that is just, that is just what a time crappy. to be alive. Like, it's even worse that her boyfriend is there, so she can't even get there. Goes a chick with a mustache. But what, yeah, what I love right about here. this is like Anita Sarkeesian fighting the patriarchy by pretending to have a wedding so boyfriend won't propose. <sighs> 
There's that. There, that is just oof. She's it's taking so, her wedding into her own hands. <laughs> so many oofs in this man. The man bun just sets it off right there. That's just a perfect cherry on top. Yeah, he, yeah. The gay artist that like it's really touchy feely with the boy students. Yeah, Wait, I mean, what's what, this I'm, girl I'm right here in the chat, man. The chat's what? sympathetic. That is just beyond sad. It's an oof. It is. That's the I I honestly I feel that this is some sort of like um Homeric tragedy. Actually. <laughs> you know, it's it's that sort of level of kind of legendary, you wouldn't have made it up because people would have said, No, that's too pathetic. Oh you no, know? I saw this coming a mile away. No way, no way. Like a year ago, if, if I'd been like, by the way, I reckon Anita Sarkeesian will have to pretend to have a wedding on her 40th birthday, I'd have been like, come on, you, you sound like a No, I would have been like, Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> that is the, the divorce amount... crowd right there. Yeah. Look at that guy yeah. with the apron on. He's the never had sex Amish with a hat. woman that's attractive. It's all pretty <laughs> dysgenic, isn't it? Yes, it's uh, definitely people that are genetically inferior. <laughs> you know she spent thousands on this this little yeah. get-together. It's probably like two, three grand tops. Oh, it's probably more than that. Oh, probably yeah. RSVP There's for it. There's a lot it. of people there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, where where was it? Was it in Stockholm or something? Yeah, Stockholm. Uh, yeah, Stockholm. So wow. All of these people had to travel out to Stockholm. because They're all going to be from California. And then all that's of the right. gear, all of the get-up. You know, I, I reckon there's there's more than a couple of grand in this. Oh, oh boy. Yeah, you're right. Definitely. I mean, I've I've had to pay for a marriage, I can tell you. They're not fucking cheap. <laughs> <laughs> well, you had like friends and family, there's generations there. Yeah, I did, yeah. <laughs> this is like ten off the parents, cuff fringe people. Yeah. yeah. These and this is the the thing about like the millennials and the arrested development, right? Yes. Like this is what this all is. Isn't it just dark and dystopian? We're screwed, really. It's over. It's exactly what they deserve, I think, actually. Oh, it's exactly. Like of... That's why I enjoyed it. But I, I love that each per, each one of these people are going to have like proud feminist in the bio of their Twitter account. They're going to have their pronouns there. And what are they doing? They're pretending to have a wedding because no one will wife her. It's like, oof. Yep. And then the Can't second they the get to their... Man. Once they get to their 50s and 60s, they're going to reevaluate their entire existence. And that's when it's really going to be sweet. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to be right here for it. <laughs> it's just, you're just merciless, aren't you, Gundam? That's the thing. It's just totally merciless with these people. Well, let's just say I've had to deal with these people for the past eight years now on YouTube. And all of my goodwill is gone. <laughs> I'm like a junkyard dog at this point. I am ready to go for your throat, lock on, and literally a cop has to put a bullet through my brain to stop me levels. I have reached the pinnacle of dystopian <laughs> anger. I am ready to scorch the earth. I want to watch it all burn. <laughs> While also putting money in my pocket. Where's my laugh track? God damn it, I gotta get my own. It's late now. <laughs> Chad said the laugh track was cringe, so I wasn't using it as much. All right, I'll have to get my own then. I'll, I'll yeah. have to curate the laughter. Saragon, what's going on besides the Lotus Eaters, which is actually pretty good, surprisingly. Yeah, congratulations on that, by the way. Well, I get a lot of people pitching me shit, dude. I'm not going to lie to you. And they pitch me stuff and I check it out. And I'm like, oh my God, this sucks. But then like you pitched me yours. I checked it out one day and I was like, all right, okay. I could get into this. It's, well, it's intelligent. You. It's informative. It isn't like uh, those people that really suck. They, it's Hassan Piker is related to one of them. They're leftists, real far left. Yeah, we're what really the, far right. <laughs> what, the, what are they called? The, the something people? The, the young, young Turks. The young people. Oh, yeah. The young Turks. Yeah, no, we're not like them. Thank God. Uh, but no, yeah. no, everything's, everything's going great. I'm actually filming like a, a documentary tomorrow. Um, it's surprising you're doing travel. well. I should have mm. known that you would like definitely lose monetization at the same time I did. And you put it perfectly when you said, I knew the sort of Damocles would fall. And I yeah. thought, that is just so eloquent. I would never think of that. <laughs> like, well, I would have said, this that's is what I had to set like... it up. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I knew it was going to happen at some point. So. You're like, it's the sort of Damocles falling, me yelling at my YouTube rep. I'm like, it's like my crack house is burning. I'm losing <laughs> money by the minute. <laughs> I tried to get you your shit back, but it did not work wow. out, dude. Like, I, uh, I was that, I was putting in words and uh, my contact inside of YouTube, and I can't say too much, but let's just say they lean real far left like the Young Turks. Yeah. And he's like, the best I could do is pull you out of the fire. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh boy, I better not say anything. I've been such a good boy for such a long time now, you know, YouTube. I'm just saying, you know. Well, the problem with your show is I honestly think that it was informative. 
and it presented an alternate view of things that wasn't to the left and that was where you screwed up yeah, it was just that is the mistake that I made, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was reaching people. Yeah. That was it. The second you start reaching people and you aren't, you know, towing the line, they cut your head off. Yeah, Gundam, have you considered supporting the current thing? Because I'm seriously considering it now that you've put it like that. Oh, I started posting photos on Twitter of uh, me and makeup on stage, dude. It's mm -hmm. time to sell out. Daddy wants a new <laughs> motorcycle. It's like, look, look, I'm pretty progressive. I mean, technically, yeah. I'm a liberal guy. I'm just not yeah, retarded. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. twist me into believing things that aren't true. Like, Dylan yeah. Mulvaney having a kid. No, It'll no, never no, no, happen. No, no, no. You, you're doing this wrong. You're doing this wrong. You say, oh, yeah, Dylan okay. Mulvaney is, in fact, what all women should look like and aspire oh, yes. to be. And okay. actually, if women don't look like Dylan Mulvaney, eh, they're kind of a failure. And I kind of look down on them, actually. You know, uh, Dylan, Dylan Mulvaney is the most one stunning. year. Yeah. Who was the and, uh, her? And with Dylan that, Mulvaney. YouTube's definitely going to re-monetize my channel. <laughs> <laughs> You have to come up with a new uh, Lotus Eaters and call it something else. Conservative Eaters. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. No, there's got to be something more progressive than that. Um, um, just the, the forcible transitioners or something. Oh, uh, no, no, trans no, people. no, no, no. We just hold no, them down and no. trans them. No, protect <laughs> trans kids. That's what it should be called. <laughs> but I will give it to YouTube. Like, you can't be hyper, hyper far left to the insane asylum far. They okay, get you no. for that, too. Uh, yeah. There was this. One YouTube channel called Queer Kid Stuff. They went down in flames. Well, good. And it <laughs> was, it's what you'd expect with that title. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it yeah. was wild. Yeah. You're looking it up, aren't you? Yeah. Who's looking it up? I've got I don't, it. I don't want to see it. Well, too bad. You're going to see it now if I get forced to see it. I'm not even playing. I hate this job. All right. Where it is, just, just show the people. Let's get it over with. It's coming. Ugh. LGBT. Or somewhere in between. We all are part of one big family. Gaming's happy. This was on the YouTube Kids, too. You are enough here at Queer Kids Stuff. Welcome to the final part of our four-part series, breaking down the letters in LGBT. You ready, Teddy? Ready. Oh, I'm okay. ready. Today, we are talking about the fourth letter, T. T's you ever notice how the T's cause the most trouble? Is that part of the lesson? <laughs> Get into it. Do you have any siblings, Teddy? Yes. I have a little baby bear brother. And I have a little sister. Do you remember when your little baby bear brother was born? Yeah. Well, do you remember the very first thing you learned about the new baby bear in your life? Um, that he cried a lot? <laughs> no, Teddy. Oh, I know exactly what you she's going to say. You probably learned that your little baby bear brother was your little baby bear brother. That your new sibling was a boy. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's definitely it. That's the this very is first thing... Yeah, I, I'm out. I have pulled the plug. Sorry, sorry, guy. Oh uh, no, I, I'm, I'm just like I can feel the anger building, and suddenly my sympathy for the Neat Sarkeesian dying childless and alone is dwindling. Uh. <laughs> See, I personally <laughs> believe that her movement started a lot of stuff that's going on now. It definitely massively promoted it. Oh yeah, that's what nobody will say out loud, but I will. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and that's yeah, why I totally stay in trouble. True. It's totally true. That's why everybody's running to the Philippines to pick a wife. Are they? Oh, yeah. It's uh, the passport bros thing. It's not really new. Oh, it's new yeah, to TikTok yeah, people. yeah, yeah. I saw um, some, someone had screenshotted like Tinder and some, you know, Eastern woman had put on there no passport bros. It's like, damn, you guys have been rumbled already. You know? <laughs> <laughs> They're already like, no, get the fuck out. I don't know how that's a threat. Like, no passport bros. Like, uh, so? Like, the dude could probably go overseas and get a younger, more attractive woman. Like, you're not really... I don't see how this is a win. I have no idea. I'm so glad I don't have to date, man. Yeah. Like, dating in the modern era just looks like fucking hell on earth. It's a lot and... like uh, trying to create YouTube videos. The yeah. guidelines keep changing. I mean, I'm, I'm at the point where it's like, look, Azuma's just going to demand arranged marriages at some point. 
Like are they just gonna be like, no, no, I refuse to I'll open up the br- this browser on the fucking app and be like, no, every single disgusting horror on here is no. I want my parents to give me some, you know, insanely strict Eastern woman as a bride, whether I like it or not. You I know? don't think that'll happen because that would then um, take power away from the modern woman to basically choose what man she wants to be with, even if that yeah, man doesn't yeah, choose yeah. her. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, that's what I'm suggesting. Zoom, I think Zoomers are going to go for it. I think they're like, no, I just want my great, my, my great granddad to decide for me. Zoomers can't even go for what they want in their menu, bro. They have like anxiety ordering that's food. Exactly my point. I don't it wanna, won't I work. Can't choose. I I need someone else to choose for me. They're gonna get there. We'll be dead by then. You do realize this, well, possibly. Yeah, I I look forward to it. You know, that's a vacation I can afford. Yeah, I know. People are always like, "Wow, it's really bad." It's like, don't worry. Eventually, you'll die. So, <laughs> <laughs> it's like there's a constellation. There's a light at the, end of the tunnel, bro. It ends. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It doesn't go. And then they're like, "Ah, oh, man." Ah. Uh, what could we do to save the world? Because I don't know. Oh, man. I I don't know if there's anything that can be done. If you look at like just what's happening, like the forces in motion are just so vast. It's like, okay, well, then just, just make sure you're all right. You know what I mean? Just look after yourself. That's all you can do. Pretty much. Get in shape. Get yeah. your money right. Get a home if you can. Make that your life goal. It's mine. Yeah. Get yourself a nice home. Great equity. Just. Yeah. Do the best you can and do not let the machine wear you down because Lord knows it'll grind you into dust. Yeah. And if you ever need to pick me up, I'll tell you my tips. Number one, if I'm really sad, like today, I was really sad. But then we looked at Anir Sarkeesian marrying herself. I feel so much better now. So save those photos. That's tip number one. Number two. Never, <laughs> well, is, is tip number two, go and look at just how many video game critics from the early 2010s have transitioned. You know, that's a really weird, good point that was not on the radar. <laughs> <laughs> but but it is it does cheer you up. It is definitely an odd movement. There are a lot on there. But there's one weird holdout that I'm like, come on, time's ticking. It's movie Bob. It's like, <laughs> Bob, you're not going to be able to transition that late in life. You got to do it now, bro. <laughs> I wish like uh, the transition would lead to good looking people, but it's always the most oh, come on. unattractive I- humans. <laughs> Why, why would a good-looking person need to transition? I saw one good-looking dude on Twitter transition, actually. Like, he, he looked like the perfect guy. He had the chin. He had the yeah. muscles. He's posting on Twitter, right? Because I'm following him. And he's like, these gains, bro, two hours working on my chest. I'm like, yes, this is inspirational. Then one day, he just started transitioning. I'm like, what? 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 <laughs> I decided to become this big muscle man so I yeah. can convert into a woman. And then he converts into a chick. And the weirdest thing is, he's a hot chick, too. So it's another one, you know. It's just like he was hot as a woman and a guy. God is not fair. Are you talking about the wrestler? Great, the MMA? Like, you know, I'm... No, it's a normal dude. Well, was I'm just sick of dude. being a hot dude. I'm gonna become a hot chick instead. Suck it, women. It was probably Gunk. his life went to even easier mode. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would kill for that jawline. You have no idea. I would literally oh, choke out Hassan Piker with sheets. Uh, Eight hundred <laughs> thread count. <laughs> per request. Yeah, do, do you reckon Hassan will transition at some point when his when his viewing figures get low enough? No, I think Hassan uh, is grifting. That's what I think. Really? I think he does believe some of this crap, but he knows mm. there's even more money in catering to these people. Yeah, but like eventually, because I mean, actually, he he came out. Didn't he come out like pro October the seventh attack? I don't even remember what happened on t- October the seventh before pro- yesterday. Because he like I saw a chart of his viewing figures. It was literally on October the seventh. He started going down, and I'm guessing that he had a kind of America deserved 9/11 moment, but with Israel. Yeah, he uh, got another kicked one. off of uh, leftovers with H3H3. That was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he, yeah, exactly, exactly. And then from that point onwards, his viewing figures were going down. Straight like, down. You know, it turns out there was an act of terrorism that Hassan couldn't just endorse without consequences, which I just found remarkable because I assumed his audience were totally in favor of it all. They're in favor of a lot of weird stuff. Yeah. And they also, they all right, that's at the time with like um, his followers were then going after Ethan Klein, writing the most yeah. anti-Semitic stuff I've ever yeah. seen. The sort of stuff that would make like Hitler go, whoa, calm down a little <laughs> bit, buddy. You know, like they were drawing. And I was just like, listen, we just need him out. Just hear him out. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, Jesus Christ. These people are full of hate. 
Man, that that like breakup on left those. I actually, I, again, I can't believe I'm feeling bad for Ethan Klein. Right? You, you know, but, I think like having a loving family has softened you. I, it probably has. Like your but, children smiling and watching them grow. You're like turning yeah. into this normal fucking human. You're like, ah, oh, I'm so proud of my son. <laughs> and meanwhile, I'm over here like, let it all burn. <laughs> but the thing is, Ethan, Ethan, like was desperately trying to get her son, but like, look, her son, we're friends. We do this show. Surely you can show me some compassion. And her son was like, no, I just hate those Jews. Oh, no. I'm, a, no, he's I'm a Jew. And it sounds like, I don't care. I just don't care. And he's just like, God, I don't know what to do. Well, this show's demonetized for certain. If it stays up, <laughs> we can't mess too much with the T's and you can't mess with the J's. The secret word is juice. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry for paraphrasing accurately Hassan Piker, probably. Hassan was like, I can't do anything about them. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Uh, here's that video that you put on <clears throat> your Twitter uh -oh. earlier about the. Uh, let's the, go for broke. Let's, let's make sure Daddy gets no money. <laughs> oh God! Oh my Imagine. God! Imagine. Check on that. Yeah, yeah. So we were talking May six, eight forty-five. Yeah. I want this guy to represent me on my defamation lawsuit. I mean, woman. <laughs> Is that the lawyer? Yes, that's, that's the lawyer. The defense lawyer. The free defense lawyer. My comment about my client. Yeah, I just met her. She's really nice. She's really smart. She sounds like she's I'm got the right idea that. about things. I really support what she's up to, and I think it's fabulous. How about that? God, it, do you, she's accused of, what is it, criminal Pause trespass. It. In the first year. Have you ever wondered what Herman Monster would look like in drag? <laughs> exactly Here you go. <laughs> look at those nips. It must be cold outside, darling. <laughs> Man, if, like, you get a lot of people saying, well, listen, right? Tra transgenderism isn't just autogynophilia. And then you see someone like this, and you're like, come on. Come on, bro. I love it. Just come on. Everything is just going wild. If George Carlin was alive, I would love to see his takes on everything going on. Oh, Somebody George in chat's like, yeah, baby. Though, he was as big a shit libbers anyway. He was in suffering. Ah, oh, man. I'm the new George Carlin. They're not ready for me. That's why they suppress me. <laughs> I'm really? telling, I'm saying everything yeah. that people want. Is she innocent or guilty? She's innocent, of course. She's innocent, okay. Well, what she's caught on video being arrested and protesting and allegedly protesting. Uh -huh. So I'm trying to get all evidence. sides. So well, my client has pled not guilty. My name is Stephanie Mueller. I'm in the uh, directory for the Washington State Bar Association. You can look me up. Okay, so Stephanie, thank you for your time. At this point, it, your client is being arraigned, though. It's all just happened. It, her, her hearing is over. Got it. It's done. All right. Just Both no matter who. What like, lawyer would show up sounds... in leather pants? Somebody who has style. I guess Be so. Because this is a fetish. But like this, mm -hmm. this person could be doing like movie voiceovers because they've got a big, deep, bassy voice. You know, like just, yeah, that's a great voice, man. Thank God this happened before Optimus Prime. I, I don't think <laughs> I'd be able to take it if Optimus was in drag. But this guy sounds. Oh, this sorry. This lady sounds like she could voice Optimus Prime. For fuck's sake, Megatron. Have you seen my lipstick? I can't even do it. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my pantyhose, Starscream? Starscream, you're a bigot. <laughs> <laughs> everything's really. I think everything's really getting out of control. And I know it's Sound my job just to do something about Starscream's transphobia. <laughs> I know I'm supposed to laugh at all of this, but I'm starting to get worried a little bit. <laughs> I mean, this is pretty funny. I'm just... <laughs> like... what, what would you do if, if she, Miss Stephanie here, walked up next to you for your, uh, well, your public I, I would look up. I'd die laughing. Six foot five person next to me with gargantuan knockers and be like, hi, how's it going? You see, the problem with you guys is you don't know how to navigate this uh, community while I do. Stephanie Mueller shows up and I go, listen, honey. Those pants are not working with those Jimmy Choo shoes. You should have gone with some Louis Vuittons with the red heel. It's a power move, honey. And then they'd be like, I knew you were a trustworthy character. Gundam. I'm going to get you off no matter what. <laughs> oh, just... Wonderful. Is it great, Sergon? There, there are just so many comments I can't make because of the YouTube terms of service. I know. So. The funny stuff is usually what you can't say. Yeah, yeah. It's the good stuff, and you just got to keep it in because YouTube doesn't like jokes. You're not going to have this on uh, the Drinkers show, that's for sure. Over here, we walk the ragged edge. 
drink oh, is great, but yeah, it's a bit more <laughs> subdued. You, you yeah, tell him what Drinker oh, yeah. said about you and uh, Sargon about he's never seen anyone's more channels persecuted than, than you. Oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, that's right. I forgot. I was talking to Drinker and I got in trouble again. I forgot what I got in trouble for. Oh yeah, what'd you do this time? Uh, promoted prostitution. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds like the opposite of the kind of content you normally make, actually. Well, the person who worked at YouTube didn't think so. <laughs> so they hit so me. So you were busy chewing out OnlyFans ethos, and they were like, uh -huh. wow, this guy's in favor of prostitution. Well, I was saying that like Twitch was turning into uh, basically yeah. a site to promote dirty stuff, but I said yeah, it in a yeah. very kid friendly manner. Yeah. So they hit me with that. I told Dranker, and Dranker goes, I haven't seen anyone this persecuted since Sir Gun of a Cod. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I guess you got a point. We both got yeah. demonetized at the same time. Uh, that's what makes it fun some days, though. Yeah. But it's amazing, isn't it? Because, I mean, like, it's not like you're not famous for being hypercritical of this. So, like, to suggest you're promoting prostitution. Just... Listen, I'm not going to lie to you, Saragon. I'm not going to lie to anyone here. I'm a degenerate. But you got to draw a line in the sand. There are rules for a reason. What I love about this, though, is it does kind of confirm that that's what Twitch does. So, okay. Listen, I was watching a live stream of a woman. I'll show you the photos of this woman's oh, uh, live stream where she's sitting in a bikini and she's also sitting in a clear chair. And there's one camera oh, right I've up seen. her butt. Yeah, uh, I've seen. I've seen prime stuff. Just she is a star. I mean, you can just imagine the guys who sat down like, hey, why don't we make a live streaming platform where people play video games and everyone has hangs out and they have nice communities. Like, yeah, fast forward 10 years and it's just literally just some thought in a fucking bikini with a camera up her ass. And it's like, God. I'm going to say something controversial. Um, and put on the happy face for it so people like, they're less offended by this face. So I stay in it. Every time women join a platform that's a space for men, they sexualize it to make money. Yeah. How could you say something so controversial yet so grave? I the thing is, and I, I just want to make it clear, right? There's there's another half of that equation, which is the fucking simps. Yes, I, I, I swear to God, man. I mean, you know, ethos, I'm actually not that angry with because they're just responding to incentives, right? It's lowest like, well, uh, path of least resistance, as you put it. it. Exactly, right? They're responding to incentives. It's easy. If you're an attractive woman, you're like, okay, well, look, if I just uh, get them out... Uh, then all the simps in the chat are going to send me super chats and and I make stacks of cash and why the fuck wouldn't I do that? And I'm like, yeah, good point. That's a, that's that's you think you're like a capitalist. The problem is the fucking simps. What kind of man actually spends money on a woman online? Like I don't want to get close to promoting prostitution or anything, but why do it mm -hmm. online? You know, <laughs> do it offline if you have to do it. For fuck's sake. You know, I was talking about this in my last stream. And I was saying I had a final solution for weak men and that they were the problem. And oh, a woman in chat wasn't bothered by that. But the second I said women create these issues, she piped up. I'm not surprised. Speaking of which, here we go. Path of least resistance. Hey, you guys. Welcome oh, to the stream. <laughs> I could really use some more. Um, what are these things again? Super chats. It's been a rough day. <laughs> Look at my massive rocking honkers. <sighs> Today I was like taking a bath and I dropped this soap. And oh my God, my butt was so wet. It was crazy. Hold on, I got to pee. Hang on, I got to send you some money. <laughs> I, I can't resist. Uh... <laughs> that was literally a quote taken from mom. Um, what's her name? Alinity. <laughs> oh my God. Like. Just, I just would love to speak to these guys. I, I would love to like hijack her stream for five minutes, and just be like, "Look, guys, she's never gonna fuck you. She's never gonna fuck you. She's never gonna know. She, she's never gonna even care. You're gonna send her the money, and then she's gonna log off and forget all about you. Stop oh, yeah, sending totally. fucking money. <sighs> Why would they suffering? stop though? The one guy that actually, the one Why guy that actually it? gets through is uh, the story we just did on Elisa Jordana, her pay pig boyfriend that gave her hundreds of thousands of dollars that's an actual bona fide simp whale with a billionaire father that's the kind of person that they're all they're all shooting for yeah i right, bet exactly. she can't believe her luck i bet she can't believe her oh she's fighting luck. she's fighting over him because he's paying other other women on OnlyFans, and she's getting <gasps> pissed off over it that's the reason why she got into a fist fight drag out in the car last night that could be money that i get from him 
she girl boss too close to the sun. Even a weak, effeminate dude who looks like baby Huey still has more physical strength than a full grown woman, you know? Yeah, I gotta pull that up for some. I don't know. You say right, that. Sargon's gotta um, see it. I'll go. Show it to him, baby. Hit him with the good stuff. Get ready to laugh. This is gonna touch you deeply. As my right, avatar on. is broken, so don't mind me. Oh, oh my god, second. this situation. There we go. Oh, right Hi. in the nose. Hi Sarah, how are you? That's the one that's Sarah. Hi. 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 You know, Sorry, is he the guy who's got hundreds of dollars? Yes. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> billions. His father owns a a billion dollar. He deserved that slap. Auto, auto parts store, auto parts conglomerate. Yeah, I'm gonna back that up because that's a good slap. Yo, pass. Do me a favor. What's up? Um, contact this dude's father and see if he wants to adopt me. I know his name. Everything. I, the I'm Japanese could. do this all the time. Like, if you have a, a retard son, you can disown him <laughs> and get a new kid. So tell this guy. I'm on the ball. I'm with it. I'm a hard worker. Let's do this. I guarantee you, I will not be dropping money on OnlyFans girls, Pops. You will be so proud. Hi, Sarah. How are you? Yeah. How are you? Yeah. Hi. Hi. Nudes and, you know, different sentences that he... Sarah, I'm sorry uh, about this. Don't talk. Shut up. Don't fucking talk. Uh, yes, yeah, Sarah, we're really sorry about this. I'm sending him your way today. Fucking... Uh, so, don't worry. Um, All right, let's like uh, cut this back because we've shown him getting whapped a couple times. Yeah. So you know, you two will definitely hit me and go something like, "Oh my god, the physical the, violence." At least do the last part where he gets where he gets fed up. Really? Yeah, he's got to see that part. That's the best part, was, bro. If I get a strike, I swear to God, <laughs> this stream. You have to delete the stream afterwards. <laughs> yeah, I have to delete the stream. People be like, "What happened, Goddamn?" And like, well. The same thing that happened every fucking time. I did something fun, and YouTube were like, oh, don't know about that. Now, my producer thought it'd be funny to do something, but I know that the line is, and he thinks he knows where it is. Till I get hit by something, and then you're like, oh, shit, that shouldn't have happened. Yeah. We've been staying on, on uh, monetization for a while. Oh, they're Just slow the on that. Uh, headlock, there you go. There you go. <laughs> This is what happens, ladies, when you don't find a good man to Bitch, marry. pay attention to the road. She doesn't need to pay attention to the road. She's a strong yeah, woman. She doesn't need to right, pay attention the, have, now. They actually, have they stopped? I think they've stopped. Yeah, they've stopped now. Right. But they were they were on the interstate when that happened. Jesus. She ends Which up shows jumping how... out. <laughs> I'm not going to. She's just going to yell. He's he's bubbling me. So. Oh, yeah. She doesn't I'm even. I'm not going to play yeah, let's bit. get it out of here. But yeah, that guy right there, it confirmed Simp's son of a billionaire. See, there's a... Do you remember Carlos Maza? Yes, of course. Right. I Fucking, made fun of him and I got in trouble too. Yeah, weedy, effeminate, generally rich. pathetic. Rich, absent father, right? This has got to be another one of those guys. Rich, Champagne socialist. Father. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. So he's, he's just, you know, it becomes a comedy. But like, there's clearly a problem with the the fact that the father's absent here because i said if i were one, one of my sons i'd be like no the, sh the father shows up and then trash his apartment does he yeah because the yeah, old he man did, is he did uh recently i'm gonna pull up another video because this guy is a the son is a total piece of shit i think the dad actually has uh, had enough of it but the son like calls people peasants and really like disrespectful to people without as much money as him Jesus. And he hasn't earned anything, which makes not, it disgusting. Not one thing. Not one See, thing. See, if, if that were my dad, he'd be kicking my ass, and rightfully so. And if that was my sons, I'd be kicking their ass, and rightfully so. Yep. And then you'd be fine, unless one of the days your kids decide that they're not binary, then it's goodbye, Sergon, you know? Fuck. <laughs> okay. Worst nightmare that. I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, Gen you genuinely, hear... it's something that scares me. You know, yeah, it scares me too when I think about having kids. Because, like, what what the hell would you do if your kid turns out to be like, you know, a weird leftist? And that's coming from a man who wore makeup and played music on stages. You know, when I'm saying things are getting over the line, I'm right. serious. <laughs> well, I would just uh, give them the disappointed look and tell my race them better than that. Frankly, ah, you'd be the hard, stern father. Oh yeah. I would send my kid to Haiti. <laughs> Seems a bit harsh. 
Yeah, well, there, you know. <laughs> there's a little bit more of that couple there. Spare the rod, spoil the child. I have felt like I had... This is the last stream from a few months ago. Last time, I was having fun on stream. Show me the last time, last time you were having, having a stream. What do you mean? You were saying I was having fun when you were streaming. Yeah, I thought you were Show having fun. Show me the episode where I was having fun. Every episode. No fucking epi I paid you a million dollars to stop. And you're I... still doing this. Okay. I was having so much fun dealing with your dumb, poor cancer. And, and this is what you wanted. Literally, this is... <laughs> Why what? would you bring cancer here? Oh, I thought you wanted to do this. I want to deal with cancer. We were so excited to do this. You're a fucking retard. Yeah, it's said that he's paid her a million dollars to be a, right. be a, be his girl. Right. I'm just going to say a couple more things. I'm going to end. It's almost 25 minutes. That's fine. I thought we... Wait, am I red? That's all she cares about. That's all I mean, she cares it's, about. It's the most abusive relationship I've seen in a long time. Oh yeah, this is totally bought and paid for. But I mean, I guess she is rebelling since he's paying other women literally tens of thousands of dollars for butthole pics. Well, you know, if, if she couldn't lock down Andy Dick, she doesn't deserve a man. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> this is actually Andy Dick's ex-fiance. Are you serious? I yeah, why would we lie? Serious. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Just I, I'm so I, I, I come. You just, just saw a trans free lawyer with hard yeah, nips, yeah. and you're like Andy Dix in the mix. What? Yeah, that's, well, that's, no, just touch too far. Welcome to America. I, I'm just so glad I come. Guns from in my place area in England. That's all I'm saying. Just, just totally boring where I live, and none of this sort of stuff happens. It's so great, <laughs> like so good. Uh, there you go, flossing that like uh, education and lovely home. While we're literally in Mad Max. Ever since Brexit, things been just peaches and cream over there across the pond. Well, I mean, COVID wasn't great. Well, I've got to be honest. That, that, that was a little bit of a stepping stone. And the fact that I... the Conservatives won't do anything with Brexit is kind of annoying as well. So. Well, we got this lady. It. She totally had a nose job. Oh, yeah. This is actually Alisa Jordana is, was born Alisa Schwartz. So. My God, are you like, are you bringing up her racial background, knowing that it starts with a J? I have too much equipment. You want to be a clown? I'm not a clown. You're in contract. I'll get every set back, and you can go do somewhere else. Be a clown. Go to the subject. Okay, so no more with this I bullshit. Guess. Okay, so yeah. All right, can I, 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 can I wrap it up? Can I wrap it up? $30 million, so you make $3 TTS, right, retard? That makes a lot of sense. I missed the and, $3. And then get insulted, right? I missed the $3. Getting insulted for $3. Oh, you do? Here, here. Here, hold on. some money in. I'm going to go get a couple yeah. of uh, ones for you. And throw $3 to you. I knew it. Oh, you better not. Why not? No, I don't want that. No, please. You say shit, idiot. Let's tax it. No. Well, he's got a point. There are less taxes and fees. <laughs> I hate to be on his side there. He does deserve to get punched in the face, though. Yeah, the both whole thing is disgusting, trashy. and I'm I'm just on the Norm McDonald position on them. I just hope everyone just you know. Yeah, welcome to not dating at forty, my good man. This is what's yeah. on the market. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just yeah. <laughs> oh my God. If you're it's a man of any value in a woman in today's <laughs> dating market, it's over with. You might as well just hang it up because they they're not Dude, out I there. I go on for TikTok. Love. And I watch women complain about dating. It's another thing I do. It's very funny. Just these whacked out spiritual beliefs. Now chicks are like going to Home Depot and they're hunting down a husband. It's really weird. Uh, that That's not silly though. Like, okay, I want a regular guy it's who's good with silly, his hands. And, but realistically, you know. any guy at Home Depot that is like, you know, a craftsman or woodworker or whatever, he's most likely married already. Or he's like 70 years old. Maybe. Maybe, but you know, these uh, ambitious women. The hot guys like me, we're not at Home Depot. We're off buying expensive Jordans. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get that jump, man. She was arrested oh, later Howard on Stone after that Show assault, by the way. Amazing. Yeah. She, she wrote like bad songs, according to Pask. A couple of bad songs, a bit or two here or there with Benji in like maybe it what, was terrible. 2004. 2012. Yeah, and she's been writing on that. Uh, that bio. For 12 years, I guess. Yeah, forever. It's it's bad. But she was arrested. This is her mugshot. 
arrested she for looks assault. Better without the, the, well, it's got some makeup on there, but like. She's a hot yeah, mess. They hosed her down yeah. before they put her in the blue, in the county blues. <laughs> like if you come across a woman that's decent looking at 40, do not, do not date them. They're single for a reason. I've learned the hard way. I was like a cougar hunter for a while. <laughs> and I learned the hard way, dude. Women in their mid thirties or their forties, if they're hot and they're single, they're so crazy. Yeah, there's a reason. And they get the worst blow jobs. They're so painful. Oh know. my god. You have no idea how many times I've cried. <laughs> you must really like it because you're like in tears. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh god. My life is garbage. Can't be that bad. Come on. Yeah, I'm killing it. Why lie? Except for when I have to deal with YouTube. Like when I'm off YouTube, dude, I'm having a blast. Then when I have to get on YouTube, it's so miserable. Man, it's so weird because, like, this is literally every content creator's experience with YouTube. And you think that YouTube, would be like, is it us? Oh God, no! YouTube's run yeah. by like effeminate men and women. Yeah, on they just the, don't care. The, they literally yeah, don't care. They don't. They won't care till like it crashes and burns, which will never happen because Google props them up. And YouTube yeah. is more useful as like a sort of tool for influencing shit than making money. I mean, Susan Wojcicki literally said this. Yeah. When it came to the, the pandemic. She literally also, did that. Thank you for uh, getting me that clip because I knew I wasn't crazy. Because I remember hearing her talk about how she changed uh, the algorithm yeah. so that um, they could like push what people needed to see. And I was like, we'll just put it in front of their faces. They don't click it. They don't want to see it, but we're going to do it because it's the right thing to do. So exactly. You. Like the, the sort of thought process you only have if you're like a liberal mother. Yeah. 40 year old woman. <laughs> 45 year old woman yeah oh, god it's like they just can't leave well enough alone no let the market decide let the people decide let people have fun for god's sakes let people live like we're forced to be in this digital world now where everything is a card or it's your See, phone the more you talk the more this image of this big scowling susan wajiski is coming over my vision oh hold on no uh, give me a second here I've prepared for almost every situation. Now that's Dylan Mulvaney. Where's Mama's suit? There we go. Let me take that here. And... Yeah, there we go. That's exactly, exactly. exactly. <laughs> She's like, I don't think so. Not on my fucking watch. It's not her watch either. She's resigned. But uh... I remember one of the agencies I was with when I was trying to get um, a partner manager with YouTube, and they told me in order for me to get the partner manager, I had to stop making any references to Susan Wojcicki whatsoever. <laughs> So when people think like YouTube don't pay you attention, oh, they pay. Yeah. They know. So I had to stop using this for a good while, and then she quit. So it's a, it's yeah, a meme what's I had to the let new go. guy's name? Uh, let me. Who knows? <laughs> Guy who's not going to make anything better. He switched YouTube to Shorts, and it's really yeah. screwed everything up. It's screwed the pooch. N Neil Mohan, I think it is. That's <laughs> just fucking tragic. Yeah. Interestingly, Susan Majewski is this still the first thing that comes up when you just search CEO of YouTube. Yeah, it's all like really she's, making a huge impact, is he? She's linked to it forever. Yeah. She's the goat. <laughs> she's the, the best goat. to ever do it. Exactly. Remember, I don't know if I could say this. Um, she was very for people being able to cross the border. And um, we all know what happened with the border crossing in California that led to a certain drug that begins with F and ends in null. Right. <laughs> and then her son recently got bubbled from smoking something with F and null. And all I could think is, I wonder if she reversed her opinion on that policy. What do you think, Mama? Oh, fucking hell. I didn't even hear about this. Oh, Lord. You are out yeah, of the loop, sir. Give me a second. I yeah, I'm just, it I'm just it looking up. it up. Oh, that's tragic. I'm just saying. Fucking hell. America needs a strong... Why are we fighting for someone else's border? That's my question. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, that's a, that's a great question. and but you've got to remember, remember when Joe Biden took over, right? And the the United States border is very evident. It was just around the White House and fucking the Capitol, right? Mm -hmm. So you saw them put up the big fucking fences, big barbed mm -hmm. wire, lots of soldiers. Like, right, there's the border. Got it. You know, <laughs> the rest of America is just open, but that's the border. Yeah, don't you dare cross here. 
Yeah, exactly. I know you're not pulling this up after I said do not pull it up when I made that reference. About what? The sign? This is a, a news article. It doesn't matter. I have just made yeah. a connection to her political No, no, no. It views. seems it was a drug overdose, so it may well be fentanyl. Yeah, that's, that's what they said. That is rough, man. You think that as his mum, she'd suddenly be like, hey, guys, this drug epidemic's not great, is it? Where's all this coming from? Oh, we all know. Mm. New York is um, turning into Detroit real fast, and I've got to get out. Are you in? You're in New York still, Christ. Yes, dude. Um, uh, I almost started speaking Chinese, and I don't speak it. Um, uh, Bidenomics did a number on the country for us, like real bad. Like, uh, if Captain Fidget Fuck didn't get office, I probably would have been able to afford to leave. Hmm. Um, I'm making way less money than I made when uh, the evil red man was in office. Everyone is. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm just saying, so I'm stuck. And, the, and this is an international issue. You know what I mean? Like, you know, things over here are a lot better when Trump was in office. I'm like, wow. Yeah, there's no been... denying it anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if you're going to sit there and say uh, Biden's better, at that point, you're just being willfully ignorant. Yeah. At what is the question? At life. <laughs> yeah. But, no, he's not better at forming a fucking sentence. And that's surprising that you can oh, say yeah. that about someone in comparison to Trump. He's not exactly the world's most articulate man. And so just come on, bro. You know, this, this Trump Biden is, stuff, is running rings stop. around Biden. I know. What do you think? Uh, do you think he's going to win in 2024? Honestly, you know, this is going to get people mad, but I hope. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to go out there and say it. If you get mad, go ahead. And just remember, like, I'm a professional makeup artist that learned makeup from drag queens and transsexuals. I'm as liberal as they fucking come. But since I'm not like the type of liberal person that looks at everything and goes, we have to go this way because mm. it's the right thing to do. Fuck morally correct. I prefer ma like factually correct. Yeah. We live in reality. Your feelings don't matter. Like fucking a man. Things are bad. The, 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 the old man who looks half dead in office now has created 10 years of inflation in two years of his term. Like there's no getting around to people. Things are not looking good. <sighs> My lawyer is wearing panties. I mean, just everyone can see the amount that food has increased by. Oh, yeah. It's so bad everyone. here. E everywhere. Everywhere. It's fucking atrocious. Gas it's goes so up 20 cents. Like, it's gone up yeah. 40 in two weeks for me. Yeah. It's it's just unbelievable. Like, and it, like, and this this affects everything. Like, the, the petrol prices going up is a massive issue. Because, obviously, if you want the food... To get from like wherever it's grown or where it's shipped in to your store, then oh, that's petrol. So if you know, I mean, like, how much the petrol price gone up by? Like three times or something? Uh, it's just like, I think we're up a minimum of a dollar, minimum. Yeah. So that's that's what thirty percent at the best case scenario. But then I saw like California um, petrol stations that had like they're like seven dollars in California. Yeah, seven dollars. It's like, but that, it was two dollars under Trump, like. <laughs> Like, this is really bad. What are you doing? Like, the other everything. thing is the push for elect, uh, electric cars. That's just uh, not working. Yeah, well, it's just it's, it's just mad. And everyone must be able to see that it's Biden's choices that have done this. I don't think Biden's in control. Well, I think his yeah. cabinet's okay, in control. Wait, yeah, yeah, wait, he doesn't know where you, the fuck when he I'm is. Using, when I say Biden, I mean, obviously not the senile, like, crypt weekend at Bernie's. They keep puppeteering out, you know, like... Obviously not him. He's not making executive decisions. But the sort of royal Biden, the the infrastructure around that is holding him up with a rod up his back, <laughs> you know, like whatever that is, and whoever those people are, the 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 overarching Biden, that institution, they're the people doing it. It's their choices that are ruining everything. You know, I lost a lot of followers when I made fun of Biden, which really? is sad. I did. Like, uh, people contacted me and they were like. I see you're going down the alt-right pipeline and you're selling out for money. And I'm like, if I was selling out, I would lean far left. Hassan Piker yeah. drives a $250,000 Ford. <laughs> yeah. Bro, yeah. I'm driving the same car from the year 2000. Get off my nuts. Like, I mean, imagine <laughs> imagine thinking selling out means going right wing. So what? So I can get no sponsorships. So I can get demonetized. So I don't get invited to like fancy conventions or anything like that. I don't get put on TV. I don't get any of the other opportunities that people who sell out to the left get. 
Like, if you're going to sell out, you just become really fucking left wing. You get everything. Like, they, they, you got to go fucking... real far left or real far right. Like, I, Daily Wire like, right. But, like, the, there are loads of Democrat packs, like Act Blue, that just pour money to streamers and stuff like this. They actually pay people and shit like that. And it's just like, mm -hmm. man, is it? L listen, just Republicans, I'm doing this for free out here, <laughs> right? <You're dead. laughs> like, pay me some money. Like, where's the where's the right wing money? You know what I mean? Someone give me something, god damn it. <laughs> You're right. Sake. Like, where are my sponsorships? Where is all this stuff? Like, they've got it all. Give me a break. How do they On get top the front of that, page of everything, you know? I couldn't help but make fun of Biden that day because he was shaking hands with the thin air. It was funny. <laughs> the dude like says something and he turns around and he just starts trying to shake hands with nothing. And he turns around again and does it again. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, I'm sorry, Joe Biden thought he was at the Justice League. He was beating Batman and Superman. And people got mad at me. <laughs> I'm surprised that, like, like you're, because I've been watching your channel for ages. And it's not that like I, you know, pin you at any particular political compass point. But I didn't see you having many Biden sympathizers in your audience. Listen, um, one thing I've noticed about politics in America, you are whatever the person's angry at you thinks you are. Right, right, right. Good point. So right. I've been called, don't get it twisted. Like I've had people that lean to the right call me like a libtard a couple times because I've made fun of <laughs> Matt Walsh and fuck Matt Walsh. I don't give a fuck about Matt Walsh. In fact, you can tell yeah. Matt Walsh right now, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> tell him, tell that little short Jewish yeah. guy, Ben Shapiro, whatever. Fuck you too. Suck my dick. Yeah. Put money in my pocket. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> like I don't owe anybody shit. Fuck That's that. going to be the line until you stop paying me, Ben. Yeah, exactly. They're not going to be like, uh, Vos Master, Ben, I'm so happy to see you. Uh, speaking what, of money, what, actually, what do you think of the Candace Owens stuff? Uh, don't care. <laughs> I don't give a rat's ass. Somebody pay me, I'll care. Like, yeah. I'm not fully sure what happened. Oh, wait, now I remember. She said something about Jewish people that didn't seem too crazy. And Israel as well, specifically. I think. Yeah, probably. Like, yeah. I, I glanced over it. Yeah, I didn't and, follow uh, it closely. It's yeah, like, like I don't get paid enough to care. My give a damn yeah, now yeah. starts when the the toll starts going off and money gets into my pocket. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly right. Like any of this kind of like infighting and drama and stuff like that, I'm just like, they, yeah, it's they pointless. Yeah, I'll start care when I'm part of the team. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, speaking of my money, star actually, child, got... Douglas Kaplan. Yeah, Douglas is back in here. He's actually donated 150 dollars tonight. Uh, don't think there's really a way to solve the world's problems. Sometimes you can overestimate solutions or under underestimate solutions, self-righteous or degeneracy, but most know there's a more of a correct way to live and we really can't do it. Thank you so much, Douglas. Listen, I'm all for de 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 degeneracy, but there has to be a line. Like Twitch needs to roll back to gaming. We have adult sites for this stuff. We shouldn't be allowing like literal porn stars. Now I know this, because I was watching porn last night and I realized one of the girls of the video was I realized streamer. I was on Twitch. <laughs> I was like, I know her. She's on Twitch. What? <laughs> and of course. That is mad though, isn't it? It's like, I mean, obviously it's money, you know, obviously it's that's the essence. Well, it's, it's perfect money. marketing. They can promote their OnlyFans to a third party link mm. and get new people. It's not right. I'm sorry. Mm. This isn't how things should be. And this is coming from a man who has done heroin with Hell's Angels. There has to be some level of decency in the country. It used I mean, to be I'm, that uh, girls would go from the porn industry trying to get into the legitimate Hollywood yes, industry. Yes, now, now it's worse. Twitch trying to get into the porn industry. You know, I'm there playing fucking Hell Divers on Twitch like a fucking sucker as well. I could be making bank, man. Uh, what would you do? Oh, I don't know. It, hot tubs or something. I don't know. I mean, I, I think it's you, you'd have to like really, really target a very gay audience, and you yeah, have to call yeah, yourself a bear. Th there's got there's got to be a sort of bear appreciating audience out there. Oh, I'm 100 percent sure it exists without yeah. a question. But like, I don't think you get the same level of immunity as alinity. Probably not. That's true. Unless yeah. you transition. Yeah, I mean, and I mean, I, I probably have to. I mean, they, isn't it true that Twitch mods had like illicit affairs with Twitch streamers? I have heard of that being a thing with certain big name streamers. I'm not going to name them. Yeah, I, I can't give any details on that, but I've heard that that's the case. So, you know, I'm, I'm just saying I'm prepared to take one for the team. You know? 
No, no, if it's what you desire, I support <laughs> you because um, this is America, baby. <laughs> Me, I'm not going down that desire it, but man, I need that money. <laughs> it's sad when I see like dudes on YouTube start doing OnlyFans and they're straight, and they start like stuffing dildos up their butts. Like I know, like I want to make money too, but yeah. you got to draw a line in the sand. Inflation's hitting kid? everyone. I mean, you know, I I feel you. Who's that kid, Jack Doherty? I don't think he does like for real, like X-rated stuff on his OnlyFans, but he does stuff on his OnlyFans. The little short kid that's always going around bumping into people with his security guards. Oh wait, that kid doesn't he like subsidize OnlyFans girls or something? Right, allegedly? right. He has like a whole harem full of OnlyFans girls in his Miami mansion, and he just, just gets fifty percent off of them all day long. There's just no honor in anything anymore. Smart. That's what you should do. You should uh, grab a bunch of Chinese nationals, a bunch of women Chinese nationals, take them. Yeah, yeah let me be Andrew Tate. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, just Andrew Tate this, man. Yeah, just where's my Bugatti? It. God damn it. Yeah, you got a point when you put it that way, the Bugatti. I heard, uh, what was it, Wired misspoke on Andrew Tate and called him a convicted uh, human trafficker. Tim Pool part, uh, picked it out. And uh, mm. he said he's going to sue them now because he's only Good. alleged. So, mm. yeah. Fuck suing them, Tate. Fight Matt Walsh and Ben Shapiro at the same time. No, no, it wasn't, it was, no, 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 no. It was, it was Wired, not the Wired Daily magazine. Oh. But it's the, the insane shitlib one, not the insane fucking neocon mm. one. Yeah, it's two sides of the same coin. <laughs> Both of <them> fucking <laughs> suck. Yeah, like, no, it, was, it, it was a bunch of leftist shitheels. <laughs> uh, real quick, we got another fifty dollars super chat from Swift Power Panda. Love the content for Get Out of New York. Started Gundam Origin. And I wonder why no one else in general in the general anime community doesn't talk about how Cospel is an OG menace to society. Well, there's a lot of stuff we could get into with that. Like some people feel that it just made Char psychotic. Other people liked it, but we've got Saragon here, so I'm not going to go into it. I have no idea what this is about. Just so you know. Yeah, it's kind of like, uh, it's my Warhammer, to put it lightly. <laughs> right, okay, okay, that's fair. I get it, I get it. So, uh, See, Gundam, you, you, you can tell I really love your channel, man, because I was going to start painting this uh, Thousand Suns guy tonight, and I can't, can I get him up? Oh, well, the kids know what the Thousand Suns I was going to start painting him tonight, but uh, I had to... Oh, had paint to it now, paint. fuck it. This... I, I, I would, but I'd feel impolite. <laughs> you, like, painted one during a uh, Draker stream, I was there for it. Then uh, yeah, you gave probably. us some Warhammer lore and how Warhammer could be applicable to our world when it came to the uh, Man, alphabet soup. All, all of politics is basically just Warhammer. Like, it really does map onto everything really accurately. It's crazy. I'm really racist. <laughs> 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 I mean, the, the, the good guys in it are literally space Nazis. So it's just like, okay. Yeah, you got to get rid of those heretics. I love Warhammer lore, but I will not buy any of the miniatures. I'm not going down that pipeline. Oh, I mean, you know, I'm addicted, but like with all oh, I know. addictive drugs, don't don't start is the easiest thing. Yes, um, exactly. Yeah. I have more gun. It's too late for me, but probably. you know, you can say you could get out. Yeah. But I bought it. You're like on heroin and I'm on meth. Because like yeah. I've got enough gun to model kits that I probably never get to paint them in my lifetime. Yeah. yeah. Because of the main YouTube channel. Everyone has a pile of shame. Ah, yes. Indeed. But I quit drugs for the most part. Oh, that's good. You know, I, you know, I'm basically teetotal at this point. <laughs> like, I don't have time to drink or do drugs. I'm just constantly busy. So it's just like... Okay. Oh, I'm busy too, but like... Yeah. Uh, Guess I'll be sober all the time. Gundam's just... dropped drugs for uh, Adobe. <laughs> Editing 20 hours of the day. Well, the thing is, like, I've realized when I'm blitzed out of my mind on vitamins... Vitamins, YouTube... A to zinc. I can't edit well. Yeah. Like I just start uh, like that and I'm like falling out of the chair. And before I know it, I wake up later, like one minute's done and it's been like seven hours. And I'm like, oh man, I gotta lay off the vitamins. But it better take some more to help me sleep, you know. I was never any good at editing. It man. sucks. I I I'm self-taught. So uh that's why my editing is what it is. I think your editing's pretty good. I'm always for a guy who doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> well, just generally, I th I thought your editing was great. 
I wish my videos looked as nice as your videos looked, but there's no if way. If only people saw my videos, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Oh, that damn algorithm god. It's fucking insufferable, isn't it? If only I like came around in 2011, yeah, I could have been leafy. <laughs> I could have been rich. It could have been me overweight in a plane posting stupid photos of myself being ripped on on Twitter. I mean, YouTube has always got the option to just roll back to being what it was in like 2014. Yeah, we'll never get that. It. They should. You remember when your platform was good and everyone liked it? Oh, it was so fun. It was great. It was really great. It remember was... when there wasn't a demonetize was not a word? Yeah. At all. No one had ever heard of it. Right. The glory days. And I missed them. Yeah, me too. Jorico here with uh, the Canadian 100. Just want to put that up. Late DGN Union dues. Please forgive me, Papa Gundam. Put this in the escape fund, and we will. People want me to live, and God bless them for it. <laughs> They'll get you out of uh, out of New York soon enough. I got to pay someone to fix my roof, though. <laughs> um, we had a snowstorm, and it ripped half of my house. <laughs> 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 and it's like leaking like a, a motherfucker. And I go outside and I finally realized that it wasn't the top of the roof, but there was a problem. It was the siding that got ripped off. Fluffy, not now, or you will go to Haiti. Sometimes you got to just be mean to the animals for them to understand. Anyway, sir, I, like, I want to know, because uh, I missed out on the first Gamergate. How does this second one uh, match up? Uh, to be honest with you, I don't really know. Um, I'm not following it very closely, um, just because... I think things are too too far gone, you know. Like the the rot is far too deeply embedded in the industry and just everywhere, really. And so the the first one was very interesting because it was the first time anything like this, any any kind of organized, or not even organized, but just any kind of mass resistance uh, to woke ideology had manifested. And man, it's like they're fucking Vietnam. They've never gotten over it. Like, but no, no, it, back it's in a perfect analogy. Yeah, no, it really is. Like, I, I set up the uh, Google alert just for Gamergate, you know, when in 2014, just so I could see what they were writing about it. And every single fucking day, I get a Google alert with a bunch of articles that are talking about Gamergate still. And it's like, fucking hell, it's been 10 years. You know, I am, I don't think about it, like, but they're constantly going on about it. They are ca genuinely catatonic over it. Because it was just people telling them, look, we don't give a fuck. Fuck off. We hate you. And that's that's the end of their manipulation, right? Because all, all they have are words. All they have are magic words that just shut you up and get you, de you know, deplatformed and censored and blah, blah, blah. And if you just turn around and say, I don't give a flying fuck about your opinion in any way, shape, or form. And it's because I looked at your fucking face. Now piss off. Then they freak out because then all of their power evaporates. All of it. They've got nothing else. So they really took the first game game badly. And this is why, like, the Sweet Baby Ink Detector thing is actually quite clever. Because, it, it, I mean, you all I'm doing is putting what you put on your website and put it on the Steam page, guys. <laughs> but they know that the ill will is there. They're like, oh, no. We'll so it's, like, it's pretty much like Libs of TikTok. When Libs of TikTok yeah. started yeah, out, yeah, yeah, all yeah. she yeah. did was just repost stupid stuff from people on yeah. TikTok. Yep. And it's like, look, they're putting this up proudly. And it's like, yeah, but you're... But when you were posted, it's hate. You're calling attention to it because you don't like it. It's like, yeah, yeah, that's totally Yeah, it true. sucks. Man, yeah. Fuck you. You know, <laughs> 360,000 people. Like, yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty I good. just saw a message from Dapper Wolf. I want to pull it up. Did you hear about Gen Z are playing old video games from six years ago? I didn't know it was Gen Z. I Bro, just figured I'm everyone... I'm playing was. old video games from like 10 Whoops. years ago. I'm hitting all like, the wrong buttons. Let Keep me, going. Let me have a look at let me have a look at my Steam games. What do I most play? Hang on a Apart from Helldivers, which is like, and I made this That's point, like, I can't believe in the year of our Lord, 2024, I'm playing a modern game. But so me, me and my son, and my older son, have been playing Age of Mythology recently. I don't even know when that came out. Let me have a look. Dude, I, uh, if I had time to sit and play games, I would probably be back at Fallout. It came out in, in 2002. <laughs> it was a good year. Things yeah, yeah, were way less gay. Yeah, I've been playing Bannerlord, um, playing Ark, you know, like it just we play old games because new games fucking suck, man. They do. 
They're, they're like so poorly bad. optimized. The character designs are terrible. They're like interactive movies yeah. now for the most part. I hate I hate cutscenes so much, man. And what I hate as well is quick time events and stuff like that, where it's like press a certain button at a certain time. It's like that's just not how I want a game to be. Like you, I feel like you're depriving me of agency when you make a game like that. I don't want it. It's like the quick time event in a cutscene. So it's like some way to con you into believing it's gameplay, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what it is. Oh, man. Gaming's so, dead. Music's dead. Movies are dead. Some, someone, uh, oh, Bandlord only came out in 2022. Really? Huh. Hmm. I thought it was older than that. I hear that, like, well, I've played a bit of um, Baldur's Gate 3. That's decent. I've heard that. I haven't got around to playing it yet. Um, I will do at some point. But uh, I haven't bothered to be honest. Probably like five, ten years from now. Yeah, I've I've kind of got got to a point where I'm I'm taking pride in the fact that I'm not spending money on new games because um, you know all these fucking developers are just woke and I just don't like it. Like, well, there's a there's a BattleTech game that came out fairly recently. I fucking love BattleTech. Um, is a is a mech that I've been painting. It's a hatchet man for anyone who doesn't know. Um, and the first thing you do when you create your fucking character choose your pronouns and the default is they them and it's just like fuck's sake man the shit is just everywhere i'm pretty sure like it has to be like corporate bs telling them you have to put this in there yeah. i would think some developers wouldn't bother with that especially for battletech yeah there are going to be loads but no it's in battletech too well it is the dark time i call this the digital dark age personally It'll probably catch on after I'm dead. I mean, it's it's true. Like, like what the the very few classics are made now. That's the thing. Like, you can think back to any, almost any any era prior to 2020, and there are genuine bangers being produced every year. And just you know, the last five years or so, it's just been a fucking wasteland. Uh, when did the Joker come out? I know that was a big one. 2019. All right, so, all right then, <laughs> I'm thinking. See, See? Uh, <laughs> man, movies as well. Movies fucking suck. Like everyone's like, oh, the new Dune movie's great. It's like, no, it's just not shit. You know, I mean, I did enjoy it, but it's not a great movie. If something is just like um, mediocre at this point, yeah. people think it's good. That's why man, dating that, sucks. Man, that's why the Star Wars prequels are getting a new lease of life. And everyone's yeah. like, hang on a second, these aren't that They're bad. Not bad. Like, yeah, they, yeah. They, they, they were. They were genuinely bad. Again, like Hollywood used to put out bangers every fucking year, but you know it's been a wasteland. So. I'll admit, I hated the prequels yeah. until the new sequels. That's because they were shit. But the new sequels are just worse. I mean, the thing, the thing about the prequels, right, is they're not well-made movies, but at least they do world building, and they, they feel like least... Star Wars. Exactly right. They feel like they're Star Wars, even though it's literally like two cameras, one there, one there, and looking at people's faces in a a fucking green screen hallway it's like okay great george you fat lazy old bastard you know get on set but like it it at least tries to build the world consistently with what the world already is right and so even though the story is told poorly and like you know incompetently put together it at least expands what already existed rather than just because in in the new films you'll notice that everything feels just smaller and smaller and smaller right feels like the galaxy is closing in on you because it's like oh look i ran around the corner and there's the fucking millennium falcon just there with the keys in the ignition it's like it's like member berries. what yeah it's, this is just ridiculous this would never be the case and well I here's don't the thing it. though joe i was gonna say joe exotic that's the wrong guy george lucas um he at least had an idea of what he wanted to do yeah yeah when yeah. it came to the new trilogy they literally just like did whatever they didn't well, have a plan well everything now is cannibalistic right You'll notice that Hollywood in particular is just, oh, well, we've got to put out some films this year. Well, we'll dig up the archives and see what we can remake or what sequel we can put out and how we can fucking diversify this. It's like the fucking Highlander, bro. Like we don't oh, need you a serious? sequel to that. Yes. Sorry, Henry, Henry Cavill. I know people like Henry Cavill. I mean, I love Henry that. Cavill, but like just dude, he's wasting the best years of his life making these shit films. <laughs> Like he genuinely is, and it's like because you know he seems like a chill guy. I like him as that. He was great in The Witcher. So what do we get in The Witcher? We got like the weird it witch focused woman. on Yennefer. Yeah. yeah, that's it. And it's like I don't care about her at all. Like yeah. he's carrying. It's not this about entire Yennefer. thing. 
Dude, I knew like The Witcher was trash. I didn't watch it. I'm a Witcher fan. If I want The Witcher, I'll fucking read the books. See, or mm. I'm I'm not a Witcher fan, man. I, I'm not. Dude, the, get the books. Is, they're better. It's they're not great. I think there's anything wrong with it. I've just never bothered, right? But I tell you what, Henry Cavill was just really good as The Witcher, and he was, you know, charismatic. He made quips and he carried the well, that's story the character really of well. Geralt. Yeah, exactly, right. And he was just such a small part of it by what he should have been in it. And it's like, they're doing it on purpose, man. They're well, totally they put a woman purpose. in charge. I know that's going to piss people off when I say that. And I that's why like, people think you don't support Joe Biden. <laughs> well, listen, um, do we have to go through this again? The Witcher, woman in charge, bet. Star Wars, woman in charge, dead. YouTube, woman in charge. <laughs> dead. <laughs> Bud Light, God, yeah. Miller Light, boom. We can keep going because there's there, more. There is a pattern that I'm noticing here. I have to admit. Yeah, girl bossing too close to the sun. Yeah, I knew The Witcher was bad the second um, one of my ex girlfriends contacted me again after my bad dog got very naughty, and she's like, "Have you seen The Witcher?" And I get happy for a second, like, "Oh my God, she's growing up. She has taste." We're, we're adults now. Yes, I love The Witcher. Me too. I really like Yennefer on Netflix. And I'm sitting here like, oh my god, you fucking normie. <laughs> what can you do, man? Yeah. Crap you go through just hoping a woman will touch you. It's a crime! Uh, we got a $50 super chat from Lance. Uh, that's wrong, Saga. On the heroes in 40K are space Catholics. Hey, Gunn, why right don't there. you fill in Carl on the Johnny Somali, Johnny Somali lore, and he can tell you about their English version, Mitzi, or whatever they call themselves. Is so he, he, just a quick kid? thing. He's right there. They are, they are like space, space Catholics, but they're just <sighs> huge racists. Like the, the human faction in Warhammer, for anyone who doesn't know, is built around racism. Um, they're proudly racist, and so all of their slogans are racist slogans. All of their institutions in the in the lore are all racist institutions, and all the Space Marines do is kill aliens for the crime of being aliens. It's so great. <laughs> well, the aliens that like eat people gotta go. <laughs> no, nah, it doesn't even matter if they eat people. Uh, they just they just really hate all of the non-human life forms in the setting and exterminate them as much as they can for the sake of exterminating them. So, uh, yeah, you got to love it. And it's, it's one of the few properties that hasn't gone properly woke because the good guys, the Imperium are so the, the, they're literally built around racism. And so you can't really wokeify it without destroying the entire setting. Wait, it's, there it's is pretty... like some other race. that's kind of the good guys. I can't remember the name. Yeah. Of there's the Tau, but they're kind of, yeah, the um, Tau. They're, they're more like space communists. So they're not really uh, good guys either. I'm a communist now. Yeah. Uh, have y'all seen the new Joker uh, trailer yet? I don't want to watch that. You don't want to do that? It didn't look good. It didn't look good. It, and do you know I, why I Gundam? I don't like it either. Now yeah, because a... musical bullshit. Nah, yeah. nah, nah. I could deal with the musical. Do you know why it didn't look good, Gundam? Uh, Lady Gaga, I'm guessing, then? There's a woman in it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here like, yeah, the musical element, I don't care about. I don't really care to see Lady Gaga in it. Like, uh, I think this is a misstep, but whatever. Who cares? I, I don't I don't care about Lady Gaga or anything, but it just it didn't look very interesting to me. Yeah, it didn't. Do like, you want to watch blank. the uh, the People's Joker, the trans parody version of Fine, the Joker let's trailer? See the People's Joker that had the weird Rolling Stones author who looks like Buffalo Bob or Bill. Gotham City is nothing but neon biker gangs, leather freaks, and cross dressers. Is that what you want? Come home. No, I won't, Mom. I'm going to be a comedian. <laughs> when I look back on my life before going jokeman to Harlequin, so to speak, I wasn't even sure I existed. It's like blurry, cracked mosaic of all these gender revelations. You mean she's a he? I'm trying. Okay, that entertained oh, me. Oh, uh, well, I'm sorry. Well, I'm not sorry. I was fairly certain I was in love, and I was so afraid of that feeling going away. Ah, but you should be afraid. I just want my happy little boy back. I just don't feel like a boy. You're not. Why, <laughs> I've developed an experimental treatment. 
little bee mamas. Happy little bee. Also comes in rainbow for pride. It was foretold that someday a clown would rise. Sounds pretentious. It is. Whatever you say, Mr. J. Hunka hunka. Now you must journey inside yourself. I'm not a hero, and I'm not a villain either. So who are you? I'm a woman of my word. <laughs> I thought clowns were supposed to be funny. That was released about a week ago. It's a few theaters. I don't know have box office numbers on it, but I'm thinking it's probably in the three digits. Oh, well, honestly, that is just so fucking perfect. Like that. I is, know that that entire cavalcade of insanity sums up the modern left. And it's like, yep, yep, that's exactly what you are. And I want normal people to see that. I wish it was more heavily promoted. Listen, I, I got to say, I'm so happy to see Jim Sterling back in the limelight. It has been a rough time. <laughs> is any, is, uh, maybe your audience aren't familiar with uh, what's happened to Jim Sterling. Is there any, um, any chance we can show them? There's no way nobody doesn't know what happened to Sterling. There's no way, because I've never seen such a fall from grace. It's, it's so sad. But then though. again, it was on it's the so wall. Sad. I remember watching Sterling and then there'd be these like weird little non sequiturs where Jim Sterling's like, I love sucking cock. And I'm like, what does this have to do with Apex's microtransactions? Thanks for telling me. Didn't ask. And then it just like, it just got, it was a slippery slope as the kids say. <laughs> I just, I just can't get over how like, no, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to get you in trouble. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna... Uh, can you say it in a way that's non offensive to the robot? Um, no, Fluffy, or you will live with Sterling. I don't think so, so I won't. It's fine. Can I show will... Jim Sterling? Yeah, you like can show Jim videos? Sterling. Yeah, Let's... hold on a second. It's time for you bigots to get educated. Yeah, no. bigots. Fluffy, that's it. We're watching Sterling. You're running your little mouth. <laughs> <It's the love. laughs> Look at it! Only has a thumb and three Look at the, the glass at top. Hello. <sighs> Speaking of complete fuck-ups, we're going to be talking about the management at Deck 9. Um, lot of shit going on there. In fact, they deserve the bird flipped at them. Uh, oh. The term virtue signaling first reached white... I guess the HRT degrades the muscles. There was none to begin with. The atrophying began long before HRT. I just wow, you didn't see that coming. Did much in his own, oh, she doesn't feature much in her own video, does she? Right. That's right. That's a woman. Where Sorry, yeah. So yes, they're involved as well. I just want to put up a fucking mirror and just be like, have you have you seen yourself? This is what you're presenting to the world. Absolutely gorgeous. Don't ban me. <laughs> Someone needs to do a um, a timeline of Jim Sterling, like from the beginning of YouTube to now, like every but, year, do a small clip and just see it change. I, <laughs> you know? I yeah, they should. They really should. But I understand, Jim, that you need glasses. Why does it have to be Dame Edna fucking glasses? <laughs> like, just, oh. Listen, um, I just don't know why there's no contour here. It needs to be done. So just like I, I remember back in like, I don't know, 2012 or whatever it was, 2011, something like that, when Jim Sterling got on The Escapist first, right? I used to watch The Escapist quite a lot. And I used to enjoy oh, yeah. It. So, the Escapist I, was legendary back in the day. It was great, right? And I, you know, I'd watch Yahtzee when I'm eating my dinner, you know, just, and I'd be like, oh, that was fun. And I'd watch Movie Bob, you know, because I quite like Movie Bob. And then Jim Sterling came on as like the fascist dictator, right? And I found Jim Sterling really annoying, but I was like, okay, I'll watch a few of them. And over time, he actually grew on me, right? Actually, I actually quite liked Jim Sterling's videos because he would actually make critiques that a lot of people weren't prepared to do. And so eventually, the annoyingness of Jim Sterling's presentation wore off. And I was, I was, I enjoyed his work. And then he went really bizarrely woke. And I was like, okay, well, then I'm just not interested, Jim. And then he transitioned. And now I am interested again. <laughs> Jim brought you back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Staff no, I'm enjoying his work again. <laughs> Sterling, full circle. We're experiencing yeah. trans joy chat. Yeah. 
But again, like Diabito Bob wasn't always like he is now. Like these people have gotten really woke. You know, they 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 weren't always like this. No, I've never heard of Movie Bob until you know I was in the scene. I guess he just always seemed there, like a douche nozzle. You can find videos of Movie Movie Bob from like 2012, 2013, being like feminism is kind of silly. It's run out of dragons to slay. Then it's a waste of time and stuff like that. There, you know, there's there's videos on that on his channel now. That doesn't sound like something Movie Bob would say. Yeah, now it doesn't right but the and the same with jim sterling like they weren't they weren't woke they were just normal guys like you know who you'd probably you know have met in the comic store or something and then they just realized oh this is i mean literally it's the sort of selling out the, the grift of it this is where the money is this is where the the kudos is yeah but here's the thing it didn't translate to money for sterling it destroyed sterling really yeah sterling is bleeding Really? Let me uh, let me have a look. Check the social. Sterling was close to a million subscribers. Now, yeah, yeah. Uh, this wonderful woman is down to like seven hundred k. Sterling is behind me. Yeah, I just oh. looked. It was like seven fifty five. Oh wow! And a daily average of twenty thousand views. Yeah, let me that's, pull that. that's 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 pretty rough, actually. <laughs> it was the wrong move to make. Yeah, unless yeah. like it makes you happy, then put on the panties, darling. But from me personally, I would prefer to see some contour in that makeup. Man, I really, I, I, I really want to make um, a fucking hell. Have you looked at his pa her Patreon though? Of course not. Right. Well, look it up. Look it up. That now you see. So you're thinking in terms of just raw money of of the the raw numbers. Okay, show it to me, Pask. Go ahead, kill me. <laughs> This is my computer, folks. He's fast. James my. Stephanie Sterling, 10,000 members at at least, well, that's at least a dollar, but probably higher than that. Uh, yeah, about ten nine thousand one hundred and forty five dollars Wow. his social blade and percent. See, it does pay. All right. I give up. I don't know. <laughs> Jim Stephanie's killing me. <laughs> what do you know, eh? Hey, look at that. Make it more than me. There you go. Oh. I should just hang myself while I jerk off and go out like Hutchinson. No, you just need to work on your makeup oh, skills. Oh, my makeup skills are pretty good. I, I could remake Sterling. I would change the whole bone structure. Create a jawline. Uh, soften that brow, honey. Lord have mercy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're looking at Jim. <coughs> you look at Jim Sterling. You're like, yeah, we're going to create a jawline and say good luck. <laughs> you can do it. Oh, yeah, really? You know, Jim, the funny thing is, there, like, I'd have to be paid touch. for my time, though. Um, the funny thing is, the people on Reddit, the trans people that hate me and try to cancel me on a regular basis, if they saw me in full blown makeup, it would probably really kill them. Because I actually look like a woman. <laughs> yeah, someone in the chat just um, pointed out, like, Jim used to genuinely be, like, a consumer advocate, you know? He, he would actually hold the gaming companies to account. He was actually pretty good back in the day. That was a long time ago. And like it, was, it was literally a long time ago now. That's true. It's over now. It's all about the HRT medicine. And somehow, like... I don't know. I, I can't even make heads and tails of it. I don't watch Sterling anymore. I used to be subscribed. Well, yeah, obviously. Well, like and a lot of people. And that's just kind of like every five minutes. It's the same sort of song and dance in the videos, too. Like, uh, companies are wicked. Microtransactions. Like, I know. So what? Yeah. What's new? I know. I've got to pay for it. Buy some human hair wigs, God damn it. You know, commit to it. Get a lace front wig, bitch. <laughs> I, I hate to do this, man, but I've got a bail. It's got time to go. Time. Get to sleep, yeah, sir. Yeah. Well, I've got, I've got to be up early to film a documentary. Thank yeah, you you're so good, much real for staying up so late with yeah. this. I really appreciate it. Sorry, we uh, didn't what? have real subjects. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 this is fine, man. This is totally cool. I enjoyed this. This is great. Do you want to shout um, anything out? Any new projects? Oh, yeah, Lotus Eaters. I, I know your, your channel, you just started uploading on your main channel like two weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, right? yeah, because I decided, because like I wasn't uploading on it because YouTube hadn't monetized it. So I'm like, fuck you, YouTube. I'm not going to. I did it. the same thing when I got demonetized. Yeah, I know, right? Fuck it. Just you want you literally want me to work for fucking free. 
Um, but then I realized because I'm not uploading to it, there, you know, every month you just get like a, a dribble of people unsubscribing. I'm like, oh, I did want that million though. Um, so I've just started making small videos for it. Um, the, I'm quite happy with the match. I'm really, really pleased with them. I'm um, in for the million too, brother. Yeah, yeah. My, but my channel's growing again now, obviously. So it's like, okay, well, great. So, you know, I, I should get the million, hopefully. Um, but the, the main body of work that I do is on lotusseeds.com or the podcast of Lotus Seeds is on YouTube. So do go and check that out. Um, we're all doing great work over there. And I've got an amazing team with me as well. They're all really great. Yeah, yeah I should have took you up on that free membership, goddammit. Yeah, you should. <laughs> I did offer you one. <laughs> well, I was expecting it to be decent. I was like, I got another membership to something that's probably going to make me want to throw myself out a window. And I'm like, oh, this isn't bad. And then I was like, I well, can't say anything now. But I did give I, you a shout out to my videos. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. And I tell you what, in, in about uh, two or three weeks time, our first um, long form video is going to drop and it's going to be fucking brilliant. It's going to be really good. Um, so, yeah, look forward to that. All right. God bless uh, you, sir. Keep doing the Lord's work. Enjoy your life and family. Well, you, you too, man. Honestly, I, I, I like I said, I wasn't, I'm, not, I'm not joking. I watched all of your videos just for the light relief, you know, so just after dealing with bullshit all day. So keep up the good work, man. Oh, thank you so much, dude. Thank you. It makes suffering through this kind of work. <laughs> Take care, guys. I'll see you later. See ya.